some data on cultured endothelial cell studies in which we measured the dimension of glycocalyx with a atomic force microscope uh, device. So with that, you can actually measure the dimension of glycocalyx on these cultured cells. This slide shows you that you have a reference level of glycocalyx to start with. If you add that enzyme heparinase, it can significantly damage your glycocalyx and uh, resulting in a much smaller glycocalyx, a much more vulnerable microvascular system. And if you add endocalyx to the endothelial cells, you can see that you can completely protect the endothelium and prevent the damage by the heparinase enzyme. Well, similarly, if you take those cultured endothelial cells and you take blood samples from kidney patients, we'll find that in the plasma of the kidney patients, there are a lot of toxic stimuli that break down your glycocalyx on your endothelium. But if you pre-treat the endothelium with endocalyx, then even exposing it to the highly toxic plasma from the kidney patients doesn't damage your glycocalyx anymore. And then the case really uh, supports the health of your endothelium and protects your glycocalyx against the damage by these toxic stimuli from the uh, kidney patient's plasma. Well, in the same line, we looked at kidney damage in a diabetic mouse model. So from top to bottom, the first row are control images from healthy mice. And in the middle column, it shows you the staining for glycocalyx in the microvessels in the kidney. So the green dye reflects a healthy glycocalyx in microvessels in the kidney. Now, the middle row shows data from diabetic mice without any therapeutic offered. So in diabetic mice, over time, we see, uh, especially in the kidney, a lot of loss of glycocalyx and a lot of damage to the microvasculature, finally ending up in kidney failure in these diabetic mice. By contrast, if we give endocalyx to these diabetic mice and we have them take the endocalyx for up to two months, up to three months, you see that in the same animal model with endocalyx, it can completely prevent the diabetes-induced kidney damage. So they have a normal level of glycocalyx staining and normal healthy microvascular preserving kidney function in this mouse model uh, due to the use of endocalyx. Uh, again, in the same line of protecting glycocalyx and microcirculation in kidney patients, we did a clinical trial that we really recently completed on the effect of endocalyx preventing microvascular damage in kidney patients. Uh, this is an example of the effect of endocalyx in a kidney patients. So this is a before and after image of microvascular perfusion in the sublingual tissue. On the left-hand side was before this individual started taking endocalyx, and you can appreciate there's only very few capillaries perfused, and blood flow is very slow and sluggish, ending up in a very low overall microvascular health score. On the right-hand side, the same individual after taking the endocalyx for about four months, there's a significant increase in the number of capillaries, much more improved blood flow and restored glycocalyx health, ending up in a significant improvement of their microvascular health score from 0.6 up to 3.9. Also, in this individual, we did monitor the development of the microvascular health score over time. So this individual started out with a poor score. Remember, the score ranges between 0 and 10. So a 1 is a very poor score for microvascular health. So when this individual started taking endocalyx for the first time, the score started increasing to 1.5, so what a 50% increase after 3 to 4 months. Unfortunately, this individual ran out of endocalyx product, stopped taking it for a few months, and the score drop down again to low scores. Then the second time, this individual started taking endocalyx again. Again, within about three months, there was a further significant increase of his microvascular score from 2.5 up to 3 after the second time of uh, use of endocalyx. And similarly, we did follow the kidney function in this individual. And in parallel with the improvements of microvascular health, this individual started out with a very poor kidney function. So the so-called uh, glomerular filtration rate tells you how much urine is being produced by the kidney. Typical value should be up in the 70 or 80 mils per minute for this individual of this age. A low score of 30 mils per minute is getting close to a critical stage of kidney failure. And after taking endocalyx, we saw an initial improvement of his kidney function at three or four months in line with the improved microvascular health. Again, the, drop, the score dropped down during the absence of taking endocalyx. And again, after retaking endocalyx, the kidney function further improved to normal values, close to 70, 80 mils per minute in this individual.